Hey there guys, welcome to your Football Manager channel where the Wonder Kids series is not going quite according to plan as you can see by the form. Uh, we're playing Swansea today who sit bottom of the league. Uh, we've just come off a 4-2 win against Sheffield United and uh, we had lost previously to that to boring, boring Arsenal 1-0. Um, however, we're still 8th in the league. Um just six points behind Chelsea and they're in sift in the Europa spot so we're gonna need to uh, make our little way into that um, now what I've done here is on the subs bench I've put the players who are the least match sharp uh, to try and bring them on give them a bit of a game increase the competition in the squad and uh, I did think about creating a team from uh, this group of players here who are okay match sharp but need more games and uh, yeah I just thought three points we need the win need back to back wins lift the morale um, and then hopefully we'll be able to focus on uh, putting a little bit of a run together so the team today is going to be Diogo Costa in goal Aarons, Ampadu, Tadebo and Vindal across the back. Martin Bailey, the superstar of the team. Uh, Kai Havertz in midfield. Reese Nelson and Bakayo Saka on the wings. And Fire Arp and Erling Haaland up front. <clears throat> and if uh, we go to the game, I think you'll see that Swansea are going to be playing with Anthony Gordon up front who was an Everton youngster I remember and they're going to have a highly rated Joe Roden at centre half um, other than that not too many names that you'd recognise really uh, so we're going to play our 4-2-4 four four formation and don't forget if you want to be part of the squad I'm going to be part of the team, uh, Patreon, there's a link on the Facebook banner, um, just drop by there and uh, make sure you check that out, and don't forget the Celtic series at 8 o'clock tonight, um, you don't have to uh, do the Patreon thing if you don't want to, uh, sharing the video is fantastic, uh, just trying to grow a little bit more on the channel now, and uh, yeah grow our community because the comment section is looking really good so keep the comments coming in i do reply to them all oh bugger no 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 oh bugger offside ah screw you go shag a sheep um <laughs> there you go gold disallowed oh yeah mile offside what are you playing at yeah Right, gonna have to demand more from this lot. Come on now. Good tackle by Aaron's. It's still not out, mate. Oh, it is now. Ooh. Let's see. Can we win the ball back here? Roberts going down the right hand side with it. Tackle by Saka. Well done, mate. Here comes Bakayo Saka. He's through. Oh, he tries to find a back post and he can't. The, near, the keeper who's uh, come to his near post and palm that one away. Let's see. Uh, quite attacking Swansea, you know, for the bottom of the league. Free kick given to Burnley. Let's let's go very attacking and put them on the back foot. Um Mm. So what we'll do is we'll close their full backs down because they seem to be getting forward. And we'll close their defence down. Eric Garcia, is he not the Man City uh, centre half? Yeah, he's on loan for Man City, he's decent. <clears throat> right. Come on boys, let's put a bit of pressure on them. Oh crap. Um 
Well, I'm gonna bring on. Um, possibly. Oh, I think Burkhardt, for a simple reason, his match sharpness isn't as poor as Thiago Almada's. I'm sorry if you can hear the army helicopters above the house. For whatever reason, I'm probably going to get a 20-man SWAT team jump through the window. Don't worry, I'll deal with it. Um, <laughs> here's Byers. Martin Bailey's picked to be Alicard. Matt Sarens, get it out, son. What the hell, dude? <laughs> you know those twin propeller helicopters, Chinooks? Oh, Chalina just missed that. A couple of them. Dear me. It's all going off up north. Nelson. Oh, Bender makes a save. That Bender. Ah, oh, right. Blind Alder Harland crosses. In comes Aaron's. Burkhart gets it. Aaron's looking for a little pass here. Who's he going to give it to? Havertz? Martin Bailey? Oh, Bender. Oh, that was going top bag. Mike Bailey had that in the top right corner and Bender makes a save. Oh. Mike Bailey again. Oh, Tadebo's tackled. God damn it. Right. I'm getting comments on um, YouTube as we speak. So... Don't forget, get your comments in there, and uh, I will always reply to them. Oh, great. <laughs> Nelson. Oh, and again. Oh, he's at the post. And now the phone's on vibrate. Whew. Yeah, it's 22 degrees outside, so I've had to open the windows. So it's like 23 or 24 degrees inside, so... Uh, Jess, my dog, is lying flat on the bed. Um, just chilling out, snoring. Tadebo, back to Diogo Costa. Makes a dramatic dive there. Show some passion, lads. And let's... Oh, God. Here's Havertz. Tadebo, come on, boys. Ampadu, find a pass. He does, finds Reese Nelson. Matt Saren's made a run for him. Can Ampadu find him? He finds Nelson. Good cross. Saka. Oh, what a cross. That was a hell of a dangerous cross. Reese Nelson played it along the ground. Right behind the back line. And a keeper couldn't come for it. And there was Bakayo Saka at the back post. What a nice, nice pass that was by Reese Nelson. Oh, what a pass. As my dog just grunts at that. <laughs> she doesn't appreciate it. I appreciate you, Reese. Reese Nelson, what a pass. Right, so the player's a little bit fired up, fired up after I told him to show some passion. Let's see. Arps got injured. He's 94%. Uh, I reckon that's just a bruise or something. It's bloody. Rrr. Right. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. Um, I'm very happy with you defending. Why did Matt Saren switch off? Um. There we go. Bloody hell, now I've got a police helicopter overhead. <laughs> a two Chinooks and now I've got a cop chopper. <laughs> What's going on? Burkhardt! Oh, 
God damn it. Havertz. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, what a free kick. He smashed the post. And it's hooked away for a corner. Oh. Come on, boys. Oh, he took Byers out there, didn't he, to Debo? It's a bit naughty. Oh, God. Garcia heads that one over. Show some passion, boys. Come on. Let's try and get it down the wings. Um, be a bit more direct. Um, let's have a lower defensive line so they don't get behind us. There we go. Let's let's draw them out and then hit them on the break. That's my plan. Find out with a big throw. Harland can't get to it. Byers finds Cellino. He's up against Matt Sarans. He crosses. Vindal beats Asoro in the air. Grimes. Calling now. Oh, come on. Oh, he's played it in for Gordon. Anthony Gordon. He's got his second goal of the season. Maxime Collins assisted that. Show some passion, boys. Come on. Right. Oh. We're not um, closing their defence down anymore, are we? Because the assistant doesn't like my advice. So let's close them down. All over the pitch. There we go. Get it out. Harlan with the header out. Asoro back to Cellino. He's going to cross it again. Taribo with the header out this time. Grimes picks it up. Roberts has it. Gives it back to Becker. Asoro, Cellino. Oh, Asoro miss kicked. Vindal got in his way and Taribo's there to make a little tackle. Andre Gray's come on for Joel Asoro. And I honestly have no idea what's going on in Rochdale right now, but there's police helicopter flying around. There's army helicopters. It's ridiculous. I don't know if you can hear it over the microphone. Saka putting this one in. Come on, Sadebo, get it back in. Martin Bailey. Harland, get on side. Come on, boys, have hurts. Oh, shots blocked. Martin Bailey. Harland. Saka. Oh! Bender made a save again. Oh, my God. Byers. It's Grimes. Come on, boys, get stuck in. Andre Gray's out there. Vindal has a little nibble. Come on. Oh, good save by Diogo Costa. Right. Um, most of them are 6.6, .6, aren't they? It's not that good. Um, Max Ahrens has not impressed me at all today. Let's bring on Jeremy Frimpong for him. And... Oh, Nelson's looking nervous. Um, I just, I don't know, I have this little feeling. Um, if I brought on McNeil for Saka, 
Mm. I can't explain it. I just have a feeling. I'm just going to give you some opposition instructions in a moment to close down Andre Gray. Oh, Gordon shoots wide. Right. And close down Bidwell as well. Right. You're going to have to show some passion, lads. Come on, one last chance. Here's Nelson now. Oh, he's tackled by Bidwell. To Debo, to Havertz. Nelson. Oh, Bidwell with another tackle. It's a corner. McNeil puts it in. Haaland. Oh. Ah. It's just a soft one. Bender makes an easy save. Come on, lads. Force the mistake. Go on, Martin Bailey. Look at him. Smashed Gordon there. Gordon's alive. Haaland. Oh, oh, that could have been it. That could have been the winner. McNeil. Oh, Martin Bailey again. Come on. He wins another corner for us. Oh, my word. Oh, Martin Bailey. Cross it. Oh, stuck off the head of Haaland. Gray smashes it clear. It's gone for a throw in. Oh my word. We've battered them. Get it upfield. Havertz now launches it to Burkhardt. It gives it Haaland. Must be. Must. We threw on goal. How? How? No! You dirty, rotten bastard. Referee, you cheating git. He's threw on goal. He's through on goal and he pulls it back. Well, what a dickhead. Oh, that could have been the winner. I, I'm sorry, I don't normally swear, but... Oh, what a dickhead. Oh. That's just pissed me right off. Three to four weeks Arps out as well. Oh my God. That has just pissed me right off. Well, Ian Wong can take the positive from that, he said. We'll take the positives from the match, but the miss summed up the day for us. It just wasn't to be. Oh. Martin Bailey has accepted a fine without comment after receiving a ban for accumulating too many yellow cards. He's indicated his willingness to improve his behaviour in the future. You naughty boy. Uh, Martin Bailey was fined one day's wages as part of the club's agreed code of conduct. One day is not that bad. I did give you quite a good... Um, what do you call it? Um, wage, anyway, to begin with. So, be right. Player development... Who's that lad? Temi Topi Akin Jong Gunla. What now? Temi Top Akin Jong Gunla. Akin Jong Gunla. Temi Top Akin Jong Gunla. Yeah, you're going to get sold, mate. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Temi Top Akin Jong Akin Gunla. Oh, what the f. No. <laughs> Just move him to the under 23s. <laughs> Just do it. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? Um, coaching team improvements. Steve Stone. Darren Way. I think we'll, we'll go for Steve Stone. 
give him a coach's deal. There we go. Jonathan Hill. 15 right across the board. Andy Renshaw. 20. Um, as a physio, 20 as well. Okay. All right. My data analyst. Who is the data analyst? We got three of them. Daniel Morrison. Yeah, we can fire him. Hang on. Where are we? There we go. There's the arrows. Yeah, apply. Finalize that deal. Okay, so we'll take them three. Jordan Cropper. Transfer offer from Southport. Um. 20 year old right full back yeah he's not doing very much is he go on we'll accept it we'll, we'll let him go we got a few lads coming through I could have still got that transfer money um, finances our original budget is 69.8 million. I think because we've given a few players new contracts, we've lost 1.2 million of that because I don't think we've brought anyone. Or do we buy any new gens? Mm. And we're, uh, God, we're 85 grand under budget. So finances, um, networking, personal staff, training. Shall we do a warm weather camp? I can't see a gap. Okay. Budget adjustment. Hmm. I would like to increase the stadium, and it's not giving me that option at the moment. Let's see, and I can't ask for a new contract because that's going to be a no. <laughs> They're just going to get rid of me. Um, so, Vindal is injured, comes back tomorrow. Um, let's see. Burkhard, 86% now he had a game. Okay. Uh, where's Juan Miranda? There you are. Left back, put him in there. Hmm. Martin Bailey is out, so we'll bring Declan Rice back in, I think. Um. God. I think these players that are in red. We'll get rid of them. Um, and we'll bring in Ilan Messlier on the bench. We will bring in hmm, Sandro Tonali. I think. Oh, come on. Give me the hand. There we go. Get rid of Gutierrez. We can bring in Sancho. Uh, if we get rid of um, McNeil, we could bring in Vinicius. And if we get rid of Frimpong, we can bring in Sa. So I think that's a bit more recognisable as a team. Um, Arp, oh Christ. Right, Arp's out. <laughs> oh, never simple. Um, who 
we got Abel Ruiz. He can come in. Um, so that on the bench right there. And do I want to play a number 10? Or do I want to play two up top? Um, or do we even want to play a midfielder there? Let's bring Anthony in. Let's put Anthony up front on that right hand side. Um, maybe a complete photo attacks. There we go. Um, or we could put Havertz in a number 10 rule. Um, hang on. And then we could put Tenali in there. He's got a good relationship with Rice. Aaron's and Nelson are developing a good partnership. Um, I'm going to take Ampadu out and put Sar in. And uh, yeah. A fairly decent partnership so I'm just gonna try and get these partnerships going and get the players back to full fitness and that with any luck might just get us a bit of a result so let's see so we're gonna be playing um, Declan Rice as a Segundo Volante uh, with Sandro Tonali as a deep line playmaker who's going to defend. Uh, that could do really well for us. Um, I think I'm going to keep Havertz in that number 10 role. Um, let's get to the game. And Brian Keady was the guy who was messaging me on YouTube. Um, he's just watched the Altrincham non league to legend save and uh says two very good results pepe and uh just replied it's gonna be uh pretty tough that's uh non-league to legend save as well as this wonder kids one as uh they got socrates i think from arsenal um in defense now wolves oh and they got tyson is that the lad i'm trying to sign for celtic in a celtic save right now there you go so um, I think Football Fun was asking me why I was signing a few oldies. Um, if he's good enough for Wolves in the Premier League, he's good enough for Celtic in uh, in uh, our Champions League uh, quest that we have. So yeah, he looks a very good player, does Tyson. Um, he'll provide a bit of uh, competition for Angel Gomez that we have at Celtic. Uh, I have faith in you boys. Please, someone react. Thankfully, Sandro Tonali does. Everyone else just can't be asked. Come on, Burnley. Come on now, boys. Let's smash them. Let's have this. Is that Molyneux? They've nicked Luke Matheson off Rochdale. So let's give him a battering for it. Here's Saka on the left-hand side. Oh, dear me, that's poor. Try not to swear now. <laughs> yeah, sorry for my language early on little bit upset um cheating referee in the last game absolute dirty rotten cheat uh adama Chore puts that one in declan rice gets it out johnny otto and diogo yotta there trying to combine see oh good tackle malang sar adama Chore tries to chip diogo costa but doesn't get enough on it I think when you're playing Wolves, oh, Sandro Tonali's got a bruised shin. When you're playing Wolves, it's good to have deep midfielders because uh, they do have a lot of people making runs. Saka or oh, Miranda, come on, get it in, boys. Miranda crosses. Oh, it's away. 
Max Ahrens to Havertz, back to Ahrens, pulls it back for Rice, Haaland's shot's blocked. Malang Saar plays it down the line for Miranda, who's tackled by Doherty, but then he tackles Adama Traore to get it back. Saka now helps him, gives it Havertz, who looks to find Reese Nelson, who wins a corner for us. Oh, get creative, boys, come on. Sandro Tonelli puts this one in. It's out. Declan Rice. Pick up the pace, mate. Reese Nelson. Oh, he's tackled by Tyson. They're playing Matt Doherty's injured. Not that I'm a dirty football manager or anything, but oh, we're already going in hard on him. There we go. Right, let's close down their centre halves because. And their full backs. I don't want them getting time on the ball here. Um, there we go. Um, here's Havertz. Matt Saren's cross is blocked. See Declan Rice coming forward with it. Look for Miranda. Miranda's wide. There he is. Free in space, Haaland heads right into Patricio's hands. Oof, come on boys. Tyson to Neves. Socrates now to Neves. They're playing good football, aren't they? I think team instruction wise, we're going to have to go through the middle here. An attack quite narrow. Oh no. Oh, Diogo Costa. What a save. Down my trial age. He had an open goal and Costa got back somehow. Right. <sighs> Let's distribute to Kai Havertz, the playmaker. Let's just sit back a little bit because it's not helping us whatsoever. Um, and let's underlap. Right, let's try that. Let's see how that works for us. Get it out, boys. Damn much away. He's having a good game. There's Declan Rice now running down the right hand side. Finds his uh, midfield partner Tanali who gives it to Havertz. Shots blocked. Nelson though. Crosses. Oh, Socrates gets it out. Alright, come on, lads. They're inspired by the feedback of getting creative, which is good. Here's Nelson. Max Aaron's on the right inside of Havertz. Oh, nice ball to Nelson. Oh, that's a difficult one for Patricio, and he puts it behind for a corner. Tanali will take this corner. Oh, just over the head of Reese Nelson. Gabby Goal, Gabriel Barbosa playing for Everton. Scores against Swansea. It's Diogo Costa. Big throw over to Kai Havertz. Well done, mate. Oh, Juan Miranda, just give it away. Mm. Right, let's be positive because this uh, we need to be aware of their counter attack. So we'll just change that. Havertz, oh, smashed one, but it's blocked, and then the. Rebound saved by Patricio. So Rice and Costa look to be having good games. Tonali's putting this one in. Nelson gets on it. Haaland. Oh, brings a save from Patricio. Socrates boots it out for a throw in. 
Juan Miranda gives it to Havertz. Cross is blocked. Tonali back to Miranda. He's tackled by Adama Traore. Sandro Tonali picks it up. Crosses. It's Declan Rice. Oh, we read Patricio with a save again. How many more? Come on. Tonali with a corner now. Come on. Don't get hit on the break, lads. Oh, here's Tyson doing just that. Oh, Matt Simon's come across really well there. Right. Connor Cody is not playing that well. Here's Ruben Neves. Diogo Costa saves that from going in top corner. Right, let's just pause it there for a second. Johnny, the left wing back's not playing well, 6.5. Neves is Moutinho, 6.4. And Cody. So Cody, Johnny and Moutinho. There you go. And let's just target those three players. And see what we can do. Mm. So when we come out into the second half, that should um, should help us. Um, keep it up, boys. Tadebo, be very assertive. Um, 6.7 I have faith in you mate that's all I'm going to say right Doherty on the right it's not going to get to that Tonali crosses oh then Donker nearly spoons it in his own net Declan Rice all the way back to the keeper. Bournemouth for beating Chelsea 2-0. Callum Wilson's got the goal there. Declan Rice. Saka. Oh, it's blocked. Juan Miranda with space. Cross it. Oh, mate, don't give it to Adama Traore. Come on now. Havertz to Rice. Tackle by Moutinho. Havertz. Why wow, won't Havertz smash one? Come on. Oh, here's Diogo Yotta. Milan Sai, he's gone past him. Great save by his compatriot, Dogo Costa. Sandro Tonali cleans that up. And here he is with the free kick. Oh, just over end of the post. Had the keeper worried there though, didn't he? So Moutinho is having a poor game. Cody's playing better. Uh, Johnny's playing a little bit better as well. But Mutino is not so clever, so maybe if we can get another man in midfield, maybe if we just drop Havertz back. Oh, good, good play, Matt Sarens. Oh, Nelson's give it away to Tyson. Neves to Adama Traore. Miranda misses the tackle. Diogo Costa with a save, and Miranda puts that one away. Let's just bring Havertz back here and have him as a uh, advanced playmaker who supports. Um, Saka's played poor, hasn't he? 6.5 and Nelson's not played much better either. So I think now's the time for Vinicius to come on. And for Sancho to come on. Uh, give them a bit of a run out. Alright, let's see if that does anything. Two very good players to bring on. With 30 minutes left. Oh, good tackle. I'm not sure if you can hear my dog Jess snoring in the background. <laughs> She's quite loud. Quadro Asamoa. 
Hmm, okay. Havertz now. And on the ball, looks up. Who was that to, mate? Who the hell was that to? And ask the assistant to uh, make some changes. Adama Traore chips one in. Taribo with a tall header. Neves back out to Adama Traore. Oh no, Diogo Yota scores his 18th goal of the season. 18. Bloody hell. Straight from kickoff. We have a highlight. Better be a good one. Better be a reply, boys. Sancho has it. Crosses. Oh. I thought we were fouled there in the box. Right. Let's just move Havertz up and move Rice and Tonali up. And mm. I can't see anyone playing particularly badly. I mean, 6.7 is kind of bang average. Um, I want to take Havertz off. Um, but it's either Havertz or maybe Haaland oh god hmm I'm going to leave it I'm just going to push him forward and I'm going to go very attacking I'm going to tell him to show some passion and let him get fired up. Oh, get in, Tadebo! Yes! Tenali with a cross. Jean Claude Tadebo with a header at the back post. Oh, go on, son. Right. We can win this one, boys. Come on. Let's snatch it. It's a fairly even game. Alright, come on Vinicius. Show us what you got, son. Oh wide. Time to push forward. Hang on a second. Um Right, great tackle. Come on, boys. One last chance. Havertz. Oh, no. Ah, they just kicked it out of play for half time. They knew they were in trouble there. Bloody hell. Sandro Tonelli, 7.5. Declan Rice got a 7. So the midfield was alright. Jean-Claude Tadebo 7.3. 6.9 for the other three defenders. And 7.1 for the keeper. So the midfield and defence did a good job. Um, Sancho, Vinicius, Havertz and Haaland were just bang average. Saka and Nelson were poor. I don't know. Maybe a draw is a fair result. But I think we could have nicked it. Ah, uh, well. Appreciate your efforts anyway, lads. Bloody hell. Right. So now he's injured. Bruce in one to two days. New Burnley. Boss overseas clear out. New Burnley. I've been here two seasons now, you dick. New Burnley boss. Have a day off. Um, <laughs> right. Um, let's go to finances. Let's budget request. Um... No, nothing new. Mm. I would like us to be able to actually 
um, expand the stadium or improve the data analysis or the training facilities um, you know that kind of thing Erling Haaland a shout for under 21 football of the year do you know what I don't think he's developing that well uh, he likes to try beat the offside trap okay pace 18 acceleration 15 Okay, we're going to boost his confidence a little bit. Additional focus. Um, I think if you look at um, dribbling technique and first touch, pretty good. Um, he's trying to beat the offside trap, so maybe pace and acceleration. Maybe improve the acceleration a little bit. Um, it's not really much we can do. I'll put him on automatic. Oh, normal intensity automatic. Physio recommendation half intensity. Okay. Ah. He's got low condition. Let me play Fulham next. Do you know what? Let's let's keep him on normal and. We've got Vindal and Tonali injured. Oh God. And let's see if we can give him a bit of a rest. Now Fulham. Let's see, they look a few players unhappy. Okay. Um, uh, they're kind of looking good. Morale. Um, I'm not sure they have anything fantastic to beat us, you know. So I think what we might do is if we have a look at where they are, they're 16th. We're a point off Tottenham in 7th. 7 off Man United in 6th. This could be the opportunity to beat them. So, I think what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll come back tomorrow and we'll play the team with maybe the least match sharpness to try and get them some games. See if we can turn it around because I think the players that we're playing are knackered. I think they're just um, not clicking as they should for some reason. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and mix the team up a little bit. So anyone with 100% match sharpness is not going to play the next game. We're just going to give them a bit of a rest. And then the rest of the players, um, we're going to make a team out of them. So thanks very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care of yourself. See you tomorrow.